evidence-based uh, uh, teaching and learning means to make decisions based on uh, not opinion but on data, on facts, on scientific uh, knowledge. And this is what uh, our group did. And uh, the most important thing was to um, tackle the challenges uh, that uh, universities face uh, in uh, Europe. There are uh, some high performers but many other universities uh, don't even have a common understanding of what evidence-based teaching and learning means. Uh, they don't have um, uh, action plans to implement and uh, they don't uh, evaluate what they do at the level of other universities. So what this group tried to do was to bring up some recommendations to help uh, universities uh, uh, address this problem. Conclusions of our work could be put into three theses, three takeaways. So one of them is that uh, the fact that there is no uh, uniform understanding on what's evidence-based learning and teaching is both an opportunity and a challenge as well. And uh, the second thing is actually every individual and uh, every institution as a whole has to uh, invest into building the culture of evidence-based learning and, and uh, uh, teaching in uh, higher education. And the third one is, um, I'll put it uh, very short, start now, stop never, because uh, those things which are relevant today might be different and for sure will be different tomorrow. Uh, and uh, they might not be relevant anymore. And um, so basically I can emphasize few verbs. It's uh, think critically, question, research, assess, and be ready to start over at any time. Some of the key findings refer to um how to reach uh, some consensus in, within the institution regarding the common understanding on what evidence-based teaching and learning uh, really means. Because this may be very diverse from one institution to another. And then uh, after reaching such uh, a common understanding, uh, the universities are able to devise some action plans for implementation and that action plan should have in mind um, an institutional level, faculty level, department level, and also from a different perspective, you can go from a program, study program to um, a discipline and even down to some uh, class meeting. At each level, you can gather data and that data can then be used for uh, better and more effective uh, teaching center I work in, uh, the Center for Educational Growth at Trigestadens University, is a very important facilitator in uh, teaching and learning. Uh, therefore, all the discussions uh, took part in the thematic peer group about uh, big hows and big whys of evidence-based learning and teaching. Uh, were very important and actually gave uh, an important impulse uh, for opening the discussion involving all the stakeholders, students, academics, internal and external support staff, and, and uh, as well as employers, uh, of course, administratives, etc. Uh, and the small research we did during our work in our home universities on see how are we doing in evidence-based learning and teaching uh, actually gave us an opportunity uh, to face the pedagogical practice from a different perspective. And uh, it was a great pleasure to be able to give suggestions to other universities as well as to uh, receive um, some, some valuable points in return. Ovidius University of Constanza uh, has only recent experience with uh, evidence-based uh, 
teaching and learning, so it has um, uh, a lot to, to work to catch up. And um, being part of this uh, thematic uh, peer group uh, has been uh, very useful for us, particularly um, as we were uh, able to understand what the challenges are and then what we need to do to address those challenges. Um, first of all, the managerial team is willing to, um, co to commit to uh, evidence-based teaching approach. So uh, in the next strategic plan, uh, we will have that uh, uh, written there very clearly. And based on that, we will have then objectives, activities, um, uh, responsibilities, deadlines to implement, uh, to implement the plan at all levels, at institution, faculty, and uh, departments. So what I see as a main benefit uh, from uh, thematic peer group of evidence-based learning and teaching is basically meeting new people, uh, like-minded people and professionals from all over the Europe uh, to take a glance into uh, their university's practices and uh, exchange some experiences. And um, that was a very practical thing. I was impressed by professionalism. I'm very grateful to a European University Association for gathering such a group of knowledgeable uh, people in the field. Um, second, I would think, is um, uh, everything is about sharing. Uh, these people got together and, uh, as I said before, shared this um, uh, good practice. They also shared the failures and there is a lot to learn from um, um, partially uh, <laughs> successful uh, projects. So we learn from what we do well, we learn from what we don't do that well, and uh, this is very important. And third, um, Somehow EUA uh, managed to bring together very nice people and uh, the whole experience was memorable and uh, I'm very grateful for that.